So I just read Black, a graphic novel, six issues in a paperback format. It was a really interesting book. Uh, I'm going to talk a bit about it. I don't want to spoil anything though. The writer, first name Kwanzaa, I don't want to butcher his last name, O-S-A-J-Y-E-F-O. If you know how to pronounce that, um, let me know. The creator and designer is uh, Tim Smith. The creator writer is Kwanzaa. Um, the illustrator is Jamal Eigel, I believe is the way you pronounce that. Kerry Rudolph is the cover artist. And Sarah Litt was the editor. So, this team of people, extremely talented people, really got together, really made a really good, solid first book. Uh, there is book two, which is Black AF. Um, and that's about a, a teenage girl in the same universe. Uh, this is just black. So, in this, uh, we learn about the world uh, that they painted for us. Only black people can get superpowers. Now, it's recessive. Not all black... Uh, it's recessive. Not all black people have superpowers, but only black people can get superpowers. So there's an organization, there is an organization that wants to uh, capture them, experiment on them, so that white people can also have superpowers. Um, there's organizations that uh, are trying to hide all superpowers from the public eye. Um, the belief being that if it is that if the public knows that black people have that black people can have superpowers it'll cause a lot of issues for those that don't have them so as a form as a form of protecting them and each other they decided that uh, it's best to keep superpowers in general under wrap now this is a very solid book it has really good artwork um, really good lettering really good um, storytelling in general something I wish they would have done a little more is dive in more to the personal um, the personal aspect of it the it's a teenage boy who gets shot who wakes up and his two friends that were with him don't he got they three of them got shot two of them died he was believed dead but he came back to life that's how he finds out that he has superpowers. Now, that's something that I would really like them to dive into a bit more, is his reaction to his, to his friends who he just lost. Um, just in, to the characters in general. I, I would like them to dive a little more into the, the feeling of the character in itself. You know, how am I reacting to this? Why is this happening to me? That type of stuff. Um, that's just a personal preference. I'd like to know more of the characters' personal stories, their personal viewpoints on things. But in the the story is centered more on the broad, uh, just the society itself, not so much on the individual's experience, but on society's take on this. Why we have to hide, like why we have to hide this from the public. Uh, why are people chasing us to experiment on us? And that this this type of stuff. It's something that, uh, it's just a different direction than what I would have wanted to see. That's not, um, it's not a fault in the writing by any means because they still tell a great story with it. As far as the art goes, I love the character designs themselves. I like the way they tell stories from, uh, conversational points, even from, for one on one fights, they tell very interesting stories with just the uh, panel layouts uh, they really it's a black and white uh, story it's a black and white um, artistic style and even so when a character is happy because of the panel layout you can really feel how happy the character is um, despite it being in black and white it's a difficult task to do and they do it well uh, something I didn't like as much was in team group, like team fights 
where there's more than two people fighting at once. The panels get clustered. There's a lot going on in each panel, and it's a little difficult to tell uh, what's going on at any given time. That's an issue. That's a problem across a few issues. Uh, not a major problem, because this only happens a handful of times within six issues. Um, but those will be my only... Those are both personal opinion, and those are my only issues with the story itself. The book itself, because the story, I feel, is great. I love the premise, and I really want to read book two. Book two is out in paperback format, and I want to read book three. Book three is coming out as single issues currently, and I really am excited to keep reading and find out a little bit more of what happens in this universe. It's the premise itself, like I said earlier, it kind of just blew me back. It, it, I read it, I picked it up at a comic book store, I read the back of it, and I love it instantly. Um, I actually picked up book two, which is Black AF, um, about a teenage girl who is in this universe. She's a black teenager, and she's the first superhero. And, um,. Uh, Again, without spoiling much, the characters in Black, book one, are not superheroes. They're hiding, they're helping each other, and they're hiding superpowers from the public uh, as a form to protect the public. So in a way they are, but she's the first public superhero, I guess. And uh, so without spoiling too much, I'm going to stop it there.